This is a terrible, terrible piece of legislation. I agree with every single thing that Victoria said. I think the government should be talking with the IEA on these issues, as well as... The, the IEA? The Institute of Economic Affairs, where Victoria's from. Um, th what this does, it, it does... So it wants to solve a problem, but it's doing it in the wrong way. So, yes, people are horrible online, but you cannot say... You cannot say anything harmful online. Because but what does the, they're, not, what does, they're not saying that... They they're... are. They're saying harmful messaging. And what is a harmful message? What does that mean? It's a very subjective term. What's harmful to you might not be harmful to me. And but that's if it's harmful problem. to the person who's received it, then it's harmful. I mean, look, In they're talking... Well, if, if, you make, if you send me a message that I deem as harmful, then, then me feeling it's harmful but makes that, it harmful. That's harm. the problem. That's, but, that, think... but that's life. I mean, that, that's, no, that's how not it goes. life at all. It is, it is actually. On no, many it's not. In real life, is. if you break the law, you get in trouble. Well, it's not, like a hate not crime, if, isn't it? I might I might subjectively say, actually, I don't like what you said. You don't get arrested for that. Well, there's a hate crime, though, isn't it? I might be offended by what you've said. Yes, indeed. And that could be a hate crime. In that respect, it's it your is. right to be offended. You shouldn't. Yeah, but, should be uh, but I might see that. Offense. I might see what you said as a There's, hate crime. But so. if that's the case, then we have the thought police. You're no longer allowed to speak. You're no longer allowed to think anything that that would cause offence. And it's not. It's not about trying to be offensive. It's if you accidentally cause offence. No, but this is allowing you to have an offence. So it says offensive content with no intent to cause serious distress w would not be illegal. So there are elements of it. So they're not saying that you're not allowed to cause offence. You are allowed to cause offence. But what they're saying is if you generally didn't mean to cause offence, then that's fair enough. But they're call talking about genuinely threatening uh, communications, such as a threat to rape, threat to kill, um, or, or cause financial harm, which would become a criminal offence. Now, these things, uh, at the moment, people can say all sorts of things, and, and there seems to be no regulation of it. Other things, sending communications that are designed to cause harm when the content is taken into account, uh, which can also become an offence as well. So I think that is important. No, so that's not completely untrue. So anything that's inciting violence is already illegal. Uh, some of the other causes they put in here, people smuggling, that's already illegal. Fraud, already illegal. The sale of illegal drugs, the key is in the word illegal. It's <laughs> already illegal. So these things are already crimes. They might not, might not be following through with them, but that's a procedural well, that's the issue problem, that needs to be addressed. This but is th just another bill. This is not going to solve the procedural problem. But they've also put a lot All of the onus on they, but they've also put a lot of the onus on the providers, so, it, you know... That's, that, that's problematic, And, and that is important, because but it's already, important. You already though. see a lot of bias from these providers at the moment. You know, I... On TikTok, for example, one of the social media platforms that I don't put any original content on, I only put clips of these shows on there, gets stripped down all the time. I get blocked from TikTok all the time because it's not politically correct. Even if I have two sides of a debate, say, for example, a trans issue, they will say, oh, that could potentially be harmful or offensive to someone. That could be a hate crime, therefore it's stripped off. That is bias, that's prejudice, and that is stifling free speech. This is why all of this is very unhelpful. You cannot regulate or legislate against subjective things like this. It's not helping. Well, I don't, I don't think that some of them are subjective and some of the things that they're talking about are unacceptable and they seem to be getting... People seem to be able to get away with putting these things online. So to strengthen it, I think, is a good thing. And, uh, you know, in particular, I've been the victim of this, this nonsense and I particularly like the fact that they've got the pylon in there as well, which is when, you, you know, somebody who may have a huge following then deems something that they think you've done or said is offensive, even if it wasn't really meant in any way offensive. And then they get all their followers to then uh, pile on and attack you. And there's pretty much nothing you can do about that. And I'm glad to see that's been included. And I think we, we've nice. evolved, but we've evolved. We've evolved. There are new forms of communication and the law needs to keep up. And so I'm very pleased to see that happening. The law should not dictate speech, no. That's authoritative. No, I'm not saying that. That's I said that we... What you're saying. No, I've not said that. No, that's not literally what I've said. You said something completely different to what you I said. said. if someone's saying yeah, but you said that's in a what pylon something that's not nice. No, 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 not nice. no, you shouldn't. Listen, listen, hang on. I've also been a victim of pylons. I've yeah. been a victim of some big Hollywood stars who've cussed me out and put well, and they should And they shouldn't be allowed to do that. They should not be arrested for it. No, they should not be allowed to do that. It's outrageous. It is not outrageous because it's, psycholo the thought, it's psychological bullying. It's not thought bullying. It's not bullying. It's you don't psychological say the right thing, bullying. You are disconnected It's not from, about saying the right thing. If you do something where you know full well that by you doing that will cause a pylon, then you need to be held up. How do you prove if they knew that it would cause a pylon or not? Well, because clearly... there. basically, anyone with a large following, they can never quote tweet again. It depends what they said. And if somebody said something quite offensive or called you some but sort again, of name... But again, it comes down to what does offence mean? Well, I might take offence at something you tweeted. Should you be erased clearly, on Twitter? They, I, I, listen, I, I've been very clear about this. I'm very clear about this. If somebody said something that's abusive or offensive and it's deeply offensive to me and created a pylon towards me, I want that person to have to have to, to, to be accountable for that. And they will know that because they're not stupid. So if you have a following uh, of a huge following and then you offend or abuse somebody online and then all your followers then join in 
There is no there's comeback. There is literally no comeback to it. And, abuse. and this is a very illiberal piece of legislation. And what it is, it's actually safetyism. It's actually trying to wrap people up in cotton wool. It, I don't people think so. People cannot see anything. Wrapping people up in cotton wool, this is about threat to rape and so kill, you're offended. So financial what? harm. No, threats to rape are so, totally different to be, someone but being this offended is what the, by something that might be this, slightly These are some of the new criminal offences within it, this, though. But no, a lot of these things are already illegal. That's the point that me and Victoria have already come no, up this is already... They're illegal sorry, I'm taking in terms of you've got to go to the police station, make, make the report. There's a lot of onus on the victim to, to do mm. that when it should be being dealt with by the platform. But that comes back to how does the platform operate? That? How do they police that? What they do is they come to, uh, on the side of caution and block anything that's slightly not politically correct. So none of your jokes will be allowed on Twitter anymore. None of my clips from GB News will be allowed on social media anymore. I, that, no, we that's, it's, it's not. It's that not, is it already it's coming not the case, none of it. I've that, already banned on these platforms. Yeah, this is already yeah, the case. This is going to make things worse. You've talked specifically about one platform. Part. I can see that, but I, I'm, I'm not... So even I, on Twitter? Even I on just Facebook. don't agree. Okay, so on I Facebook, don't agree you weren't them. allowed to discuss the idea of um, Wufu coming from a lab in China. That leak was not a, a conversation you were allowed to have because it was deep, deep offensive to the Chinese. Now we know that's the most probable, likely cause of where the Wufu came from. And now we are allowed to discuss it. But this is the point. They can dictate your speech. That is not They're already doing that. And, and I actually That's not agreed. an excuse. I actually That's agree. Can I finish? I actually agreed with Victoria on that level. So I don't know why you're even bothering because with that Because it's absolutely one. outrageous. No, but, but I'm not agree. I, I actually would agree with you. We'll reach that. a point where we so, won't be allowed to say or do anything online. And what is the point of that? Well, if you'd allow me to say something, that would be nice. <laughs> um, so what I'm saying, actually, is that they are specific about what they are saying that is unacceptable. They've been very specific. If it's genuinely threatening, if it's communication to threat, uh, a threat to rape and kill, which these are new criminal offences, actually. And uh, also, no, hang on, hang on, offense. online, online, an offensive content, uh, which is not deemed to actually be deliberate to try and um, somebody distress is not deemed as illegal. And I actually think it's about time these platforms became accountable it's and had to talk specific. about... Hate they, is not no, specific. No, they, harmful messaging is not specific. I, I think it's harmful messaging... Specific. For me, it is... Uh, for me, if someone creates harmful messaging towards me, I would know specifically that was harmful. Now, this show, as ever, is nothing without your views.